Hi, I'm Paul Roberts, and this is Conscious Counseling 101. And today, I'm reaching out to one of the very few people that I've been watching their videos over the years, and it's Adam Awu. And one of the reasons why I've been watching his videos is I see so much of myself in him. Of course, I've been all over the United States, and I've lived in the same places that he's lived, and I've passed him on the same day at various things, and I've gone to many of the same places he's been so many times. And I thought to myself, I just am not going to reach out because he's doing something so different than me. I don't know how to make a good correlation between him and I so that we can talk the same language. But he put up a video just the other day just talking about things. And he finally said the things that I needed to hear to make him realize and for me to realize that in a way we're kindred spirits on very much different paths but doing the same things and actually trying to do them in the same ways, but in very different ways. So, Adam, what I'd like to say to you is, I've lived in Central Florida. I know you're going to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge if you choose to do that. I've lived there. I've worked freelance along with my wife. I've been married about 31 years now. At Disney and those parks uh, that you go to, we've had season passes. We're probably there at the same times. We've gone there, hardly ever paid to go there, almost always went there for free. Well, I've been an artist all my life, and I really never really had any really money. But because I was doing things, working on productions, and my wife, the same thing, we just found ourselves at those places. We had to go somewhere where there was tourism, because my wife is a graphic designer. Gatlinburg, things like that. I've been going there all my life anyway. And then eventually we came over here because I'm very much into movies and television as well. And so we came over to L.A. area. and I was very much interested in the same way you are, uh, making it more real to myself. I have very, um, I know you said your father was, a, I guess, a minister. I came up in a conservative background. My father wasn't a minister, but they put me in those circles. And I realized that my life is reacting and what I do is reacting very similarly to what you're doing. And when you say a ray of light is not hitting you and you're not understanding what you would do, you just do what you want to do. You do what you feel and you trust that. But you're looking for other people that you can trust. You're looking for other people that maybe have walked similar lives as you. Well, that's when I realized, well, this is the time I finally need to reach out. And hopefully I know you get 50 or 100 <laughs> comments that you have to respond to in emails a day. Maybe you'll take the time to watch this video. I'll try to keep it short. And if you want to talk with me more, I'll elaborate further. I'm doing this <laughs> because we're so similar and we keep passing. Uh, here you see some of the things that I've collected. I know you have a backdrop. This is my inner sanctum currently. I've only had been here a couple of years. But, you know, we have uh, things from you know, Book of the Dead, Mummy, the chains that Brenda Fraser cut at the end of the movie to get Rachel Weisz out of that table that she was going to be sacrificed on. Things like this. I got this from Dollywood in Sevierville, okay? So um, these are all things back here, weapons. This is the weapons case from Mummy 2 right here, okay? Uh, I have a lot of things um, that are, this is Indiana Jones, okay? Um, I uh, do costuming. I'm a prop maker. I'm an artist. I do a lot of things that have brought me around to all these different places. And because I've gone to all these different places, I've done things because they've required me to. Like Six Flags, you know the roller coaster there? I sculpted the Bat Cave and those big statues and things. You've seen them in other Six Flags. They've made molds of them and they've, they've done things. I've worked on various, I know you went to Problem Child too. I would have liked to have written India at that time, but the thing I would have shared was, would have been so small. I would have told you, you know, who did those things over there at Lou Gardens. Of course, me and my, my compadre. Uh, I could have chimed in a few times, but we just, our paths crossed so many times. I did uh, Cop and a Half with Burt Reynolds and Henry Winkler. And, you know, it was part of Hollywood East over there because that's where I was growing up. Would have reached out to you before, but I just felt like, ah, why am I doing this? He's going to think I'm just a fan. I'm trying to relate to you in a way that is more than that. Now, here we get to the crux of it, the five-minute point. I'll try to keep this under ten. What you're doing is you're reacting to where you came from. And you're going out there and you're bringing the world to you by going to the world and sharing it, okay? 
and your stuff is very good that you can point a camera at. I can show my portfolio and different things I've done as an artist, but what I want to do with my life, I can't do that. Because you do things that you can point a camera at, and you're so involved, and you're doing things that other people aren't doing, but they want to be involved in some level in doing that, you've created a big audience. And you have thrived on all the things you do. Until now, after a decade, now I've been doing what I do as far as conscious counseling for over a decade, closer to 20 years, but officially a little more than 10 doing these videos. But I can't point a camera at anything. I can't bring people in with difficult concepts. And so my following is virtually nothing, which is fine. I'm not doing this for the glamour. So I realize that what I'm doing ultimately is the same thing as you, only in a vastly different way. And I'm doing it for the same reasons as you, but in a vastly different way. You're bringing these things in and you're reflecting them out and you're finding ways to go out there and figure out the best you can and sort through the barrage of who says this and who says this and what you think is real and trying to find someone you say you can trust that's also doing that. You're not having a ray of light hit you, you said, even though you're from that conservative background and you're trying with moral fortitude to believe that if you're convicted about something, the answers will somehow reveal themselves. But in these troubled times, they're not revealing. In fact, you're becoming more stifled. And in spite of all the things you've done, you don't know what to do next. Well, I've been going and trying to reach out in an I don't know type of a way, just like you. All the time, you're getting now where you don't know. I say you never have known. Well, I realized that a long time ago, that I don't know. And yet, I'm still trying, hoping against hope, to try to find the answers. To try to not know, but to quell myself. Instead of just with travels, although I have done travels all over the United States, I've been to just about every state. I've toured the United States at least four times in our little 77 Volkswagen camper van with the family to show them things. Because I, I gotta do what they need. I'm, I'm, family, I'm a family man, okay? I can't just be about me. But I've lived in this little corner of the world called Conscious Counseling 101, trying to grapple with my thoughts and try to figure out what are the larger concepts? How do you sort through all the things that people are saying and all the things you can't know? And how can you come to know things? One of the things that I've done is instead of going out there like I have for so long and telling what I think, Paul's on deaf ears, I'm asking people to come and present their problems to me and let me help them for no cost. So that I'm trying to reach out and find some way to connect. But what it's really doing is it's helping me to see well, what are people really thinking about? I already know what I'm thinking about. And if I can reach out to them, they say if you help enough people, you eventually can help yourself. So I'm reaching out to you today because whether you know it or not, you're struggling some of the same struggles I'm struggling. And maybe we can help each other I'm very a solitary type of person, okay? So we don't need to meet. You don't need to worry whether you trust me or not. But I think we should have some kind of a dialogue because there's so many places that we can relate to one another. I think I could help you with the void that will still remain a void, you still won't know. But the void you're feeling, I can help you to, to stroke that area or those areas and give a little bit of feedback that maybe others that you're coming to, to, to know can't. And because you're doing so much what I'm doing, even though it's in a totally different vein, I think you can assist me. One of the things I notice is that you're missing so much of what I have and I'm missing so much of what you have, even though we're so similar. And I feel that if we pool our resources, we could both aid one another, even if privately. It doesn't have to be publicly. I'm not a huge presence. I mean, your numbers after one day, 85,000 on your thoughts about things, I'll have 10, if I'm lucky, in a couple of weeks on this video or any video that I try to help. So it's not about the numbers. It's not about where we'd want to go, how we can assist each other in that way. It's how we can be talking to each other about our soul. It's in our hearts and minds and what our search and our struggle is about. I'd like to talk to you about those things because I'm going through them. I had to change seats there for a minute, I had to restart the camera, had too many things left on there from the other day. Basically, uh, what I want to say uh, 
Adam, is that I am searching. And I search in a different way than you, and, but I know you are now that you've revealed your thoughts and your innermost self. I, I, at least I heard it that way. I don't know if it is. I'd like to compare our notes and search together a little bit. See if there's any way we can um, help one another privately to be something that we're looking for that's so hard to find. That's what I'd like to do, Adam. So if you'd be willing to uh, try to look for those things, if you're interested at all, i um, be glad to talk with you and just share my thoughts. You can share your thoughts. And if nothing more, then we spend a few minutes touching base with one another and share what we have in common and wish each other well and move on. But who knows? Maybe there could be a connection where we could find what we're looking for that's so hard to find. Maybe. Anyway, you're the kind of person that goes out there and does. I'm that way. But you're also the kind that can be innermost reflective and seek and search and analyze what you've done and realize there's still, no matter how hard you try, there's still something that's more and you just don't know how to put your finger on it, the unknowing, okay? I say one of the things with my conscious counseling is I know I don't know anything for certain and what empowers me is that no one else can know anything for certain. So I level the playing field right off the bat and it helps me to be empowered because I know that no one knows anything. You know, you don't know. You know you're as well traveled as anybody. We share that. Love to talk to you about that and other common things that our lives have held. If you want to just jot me an email and say that you heard anything that I said, that'd be great. If you don't see anything there, that's fine too. Won't take it personally. I just felt that I saw something that we had in common and I've been watching enough to you're seeing me for the first time but I've been seeing you and maybe I'm just grasping at straws but maybe there is something so join me <laughs> I'll you I'd, I'd love to take a few minutes with you Paul Roberts Conscious Counseling 101